Hi everyone, my name is Erica. Today I'm here to share with you an art therapy activity to do when you're feeling broken. So I'm not talking about feeling physically broken, but feeling emotionally broken. And so maybe you're going through an event right now where you lost a job or you lost someone that you love or you put all your time and energy into something and it just completely blew up in your face or maybe a relationship ended. Lots of different things can put you into this feeling of feeling broken, feeling like your soul, your spirit, and your heart is shattered into a million pieces. And it feels almost impossible to build yourself back up and to continue moving forward in life. I know through my experiences of having these moments in my life, it's through that where I'm able to transform and grow in greater depths and heights than ever before. It is in those dark, really hard moments that we learn the most, that we gain the biggest lessons. It's almost like when we're feeling so broken open, that's the opportunity to really feel those feelings, to plant new seeds and have new growth for our life. It almost seems impossible in those moments, but it's always afterwards that we're able to find the gift. It's always afterwards that we're able to see why those things have happened to us. I know this has been a hard year and I know my spirit has been broken a few times, you know, in the past year, but I have to remember to have the faith and courage to build myself back up. There is no shame to feeling this way. I think a lot of us try to hide it when we are feeling that way, but there is no shame. It's a common human emotion and everyone goes through this and we just have to remember that it's in those moments that we can grow the most. This is our opportunity to rebuild ourselves back up, to transform those feelings into something else. So I created this art therapy exercise for you to help you rebuild your spirit, rebuild your courage, and rebuild with hope, with faith, and with love. I'm using the metaphor of a mosaic to help you in this process because literally piece by piece, you're gonna be rebuilding yourself. All you need is a piece of paper, a glue stick, scissors, and a variety of colored paper that you have. Begin by setting up your space. Light a candle or incense to signify the start of the session. Be still and start to connect to the movement of your breath. Place your hands on the paper and inhale deeply. And exhale. Feel that with every exhale, you're letting go of more and more. Now set your intention. Say out loud or in your heart, I am courageous. I am strong. I am loved. I am whole. What is a symbol of hope and courage for you? Draw it on the paper and make it simple. Take your colored paper and cut it into small squares. Piece by piece, you will now start to build your image like a mosaic. Choose colors that you feel represent hope and courage. Mindfully trim the pieces of paper to fit. Commit to finishing the picture in one sitting. Keep the energy moving and don't give up. So this is a piece that I ended up creating and the biggest lesson that I learned during the process was the fact that I had to really take my time and commit to the process and commit to myself to finish it. It is an extremely tedious process. You have to cut out all these little shapes to try to fit into this piece. There were many times where I just felt like I wanted to give up, where I just wanted to stop because it was taking so long, but I really had to just commit and finish it. And when I finished it, I felt such a big relief and big sense of accomplishment. And I was so happy that I actually completed the whole thing and it was so worth it, that whole process of you know, my mind being like, oh, this is taking too long. You should really not do this anymore. And you know, all the negative self-talk, I really had to overcome that throughout the process to finish it. I actually put it up in my fridge this week because it was such a great reminder that it takes work and dedication to actually 
build a life that you want. You know, things are not going to happen overnight. It does take discipline and it takes courage and a lot of patience to get to where you want to be. I chose the symbol of a phoenix rising from the ashes as my symbol of hope and strength, but it could be something completely different for you. Whatever comes to your mind, I want you just to go for it and try to do this. Another tip I have for you when you're doing this is to just do it fast. I think maybe sometimes we can get stuck in our head thinking about how things are going to fit, but if we just keep the momentum going, if we just keep pushing ourselves a little bit by a little bit at a steady pace, then we're able to complete it. If we take too long, then you know we're never going to finish it. So I'd say just keep moving the energy, you know, keep going faster. Don't worry so much about if it looks perfect because there is no such thing as perfection, you know. Let's embrace the fact that things are a little bit wonky, you know. Let's embrace the fact that we have scars. Let's embrace the fact that there's parts that are not completely symmetrical because that's what happens. We are not trying to make it exactly the way that it was. We are trying to rebuild into something new while embracing the qualities that maybe we're not so comfortable with. So I really hope that you try this exercise this week and if you are feeling, you know, broken and lost right now, I just want to let you know that you're not alone and that it's going to be okay, you know, just commit yourself to feel the feelings, do the work and I promise you, you will overcome anything. If you try this exercise, I would love to see what you come up with. So you can always find me on Instagram, tag me or send me an email. I would really love to talk to you about it. And I'm also offering one-on-one -on -one online sessions. So if you want to go deeper into the therapeutic art process, learn a little bit about yourself and have a safe space to express what you're feeling, I'm here. So please don't hesitate to contact me. And lastly, if you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe to my channel. I have so much more coming up to share with you all. So in the meantime, I'm sending you all love and I'll see you next week.